Good morning, ESM. I'm Elena. This week is Pride Week, and today the P stands for professionalism. We had some great school news this week involving our school athletes, and we have some news with John, who is not dressed professionally this morning. I am not dressed professionally for the professionalism show. That's my bad. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we had some track athletes who did really well for states this weekend. Uh, Rocky L, Michael Parks, and Kevin Hasty all did, had amazing performances. But more on that later with sports. On Monday, Russia announced a ceasefire in the opening of humanitarian corridors. Ukraine, Ukraine civilians were forced to seek shelter from Russia. Ukraine officials described the failed evacuation in Kviv's suburbs a catastrophic event. While both sides continue to fight, both sides have agreed to have a talk on Monday. In DeWitt, a national gourmet cookie company that also sells premium ice cream is opening a shop. The company is called Crumble Cookies. Each week their menu rotates to give you four to five different specialty flavors. They are offering different curbside catering, gifts, and online shopping. They also have an app to make the shopping easier. A 14-year-old girl stabbed in the head and in the arm near Liverpool High School. The stabbing was reported at 2.39 p.m. near the gym entrance of the high school. The teen's cuts were superficial and he, he was taken to Upstate University Hospital in Syracuse. The stabbing occurred during a fight between two, nager, two teenagers who know each other. A 16-year-old suspect was located and detained by police. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I think most of us know what, professional is, what professionalism is, but many don't know ways to act professional. Some great ways you can show professionalism is showing up on time to events, sending professional emails, communicating with teachers, and dressing appropriately. Let's head over to weather, and after we'll be showing some DECA students and how they show professionalism. New York State DECA conference is they have to dress professionally. They have to dress professionally before the judges when they present. They also have to um, dress professionally when they go to opening and closing ceremonies. And we also teach the students what professional dress is all about. I get to my job on time and I do the tasks that I'm supposed to at my job and when my boss asks me to do something I do it and I don't sit around on my phone and complain all day. For DECA and Skills USA, it's important that we dress professionally and treat our peers with respect. Ways of showing professionalism in DECA, basically we um, start off with, we have competitions, so there's basically a strict dress code and we have judges who basically judge us on professionalism and we have to like kind of stay calm too like we're in an interview because if you start racing um, you will just get confused so a lot of DECA is just professionalism and just look pretty. They also display professionalism when they have to present in front of the judges and all of these things I think are great for students for their future because it helps them prepare for when they go for job interviews when they get out in the work world they've already presented in front of people so it makes them feel more confident when they have to present in front of other people at work. So here are some things you don't want to do if you want to act professional. Put your hood down. You can't be playing music in the halls. It's not showing professionalism. Hey, you can't run in the hallways! <laughs> Put your 
So like I said, we had some pretty exciting track news, but I think after watching that video that we should sign Richie up for track. I don't know about you guys. But big congratulations to senior and state champion Rocky L in the indoor track state championships this weekend. Rocky finished first in the 55 meter hurdles and claimed the state title in a personal best time of 7.54. Rocky also finished second in triple jump and eighth in long jump. Mike Parks placed 4th in the high jump and 6th in the 55 hurdles, and Kevin Hasty finished 22nd in weight throw. Congratulations to all three athletes. The Syracuse men's basketball team lost on their senior night to Miami 75-72. Buddy Baham led the team with 30 points. The Syracuse men's lacrosse team beat Hobart 18-16. Brennan Curry and Tucker Dorjevic both led the team with 5 goals each. And I'm John with your sports. Well, ESM, we hope you learned some ways to be professional. For me and everyone here at The Morning Show, have a great Monday and make sure you show professionalism.